Oh, 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 oh. Man, there's always cut. one that screws it up for everybody. Jeez. <laughs> it's music reaction time. Oh, yeah. And today we're going back to the lovely country of Sweden. Mm -hmm. And this time we're gonna introduce the rest of the world because I think everyone in Sweden knows about this. But for the rest of y'all who are ignorant like we are, uh -huh. there is something out there called kolning. And I tell you, it's the most amazing thing I've ever heard about. Wow, what is kolning, Well, kolning, uh, we've heard some of it actually in her rendition when she sang the, the national, national anthem. anthem. Oh. It's that sort of airy quality the way she sings. And it's something that's been passed down through generations in Sweden. And they use it for cattle calling. Oh. Exactly. They make that sound so the cows, when they hear it, they oh, start the coming cow. back. Yeah. Oh. So that's what coaling is. It's not like the U.S. when they just go to the edge of the farm and go, Betsy! Betsy! No, coaling is beautiful sounding. <laughs> so I figured let's check out a couple of videos of this. Y'all recommended this and I am blown away by what I've heard from her so far. Including this video, we're going to play two back to back. This is just her herding cattle and the second one is that she takes this sort of practice and makes it into a song oh, so wow. it's an original song we're gonna hear from her so let's check it out oh let's check this out i uh, love her rendition of the national anthem uh, love her that voice. was amazing her oh voice goodness. is that insanely was good like touching the soul <laughs> sort of stuff i was just like stunned right. so, stunned so i'm looking forward to this let's do it all right, and away we go. Oh, they're coming! What the hell? This works! Oh my god. They're like free concert, front row seats. <laughs> There's together. always one that screws it up for everybody. <laughs> Someone got horny. <laughs> <laughs> she turned on the cows. <laughs> oh my god. It was like, whoa, oh sexy call. All right, mating time. Baby, that is so. I want to do that. I want to go to Sweden and do that. Personally, Ooh, I get a feeling they might run away. No, you do. You, they will run no, away. No, you do. You do the run away too, I bet. I was just uh, imagining I, watching I, it. I was imagining, oh, John will do the cooling. They will. I'm not they taking you to Sweden away. with me. It's already a one way trip what? for me. You stay here. All right, all right. I, I, someone needs to explain how this works. Like, how does the cow know recognize. the come? I'm thinking maybe she has a certain tone, so they recognize that person's tone. But maybe it's trained to come. But it's not like she's giving them a treat or anything either. <laughs> so they're coming for what reason? Like, what are they coming for? It's not like when I call Yoshi, Yoshi, our pet dog, he comes because he knows in the past, like, we will give him a treat. Like, they're getting nothing beyond wow. a free show. So I, I don't know how this works, but it's, man, they just came right away. That's, I'm still blown up by what's going on here. And, and I was scared that they all going to like really be, I know, but like what if they bum rush her? What if they start stampeding, you know, because it's so good. They're like, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We, we got to check the second one now. All right. So the, here's the second one. This is her uh, singing in the calling style, I guess you could call it. Oh, I want to do it. I want to do it now. And away we go. Wow, this looks like the opening shot for Game of Game Thrones. Game of Thrones. Up yes. north. The blue Q. Wow. It's 
like being one with nature. Nature looks very cold. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's wow, it, her voice is just on a ethereal and level. Angelic. It just doesn't sound like from this planet, this realm, if I were to use a more fantasy oriented term. Maybe that's why it's ancient. She did that? <laughs> oh! Hell no! Oh my god! <laughs> that is wow. beautiful. I did not realize you could see the Ariel Borales from Sweden. Because it's that far north. That, first of all, apparently she does everything. She does her own drone shots. She does her own editing. She does her own music. She does her own instruments. Her ability to piece it all together and do it all is barn on some of the most impressive work I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you would expect having done formal training mm -hmm. in Hollywood. And like, I'm not even close to what she's doing. But mm -hmm. She puts together in such a compelling way that you can't even say this is YouTube anymore. This is the kind of stuff that you would see, like big budget production. That was right. straight out of Game of Thrones. Wow. Unbelievable. That was I just am, really beautiful. I am so calm and relaxed <laughs> watching this. I was like that too until I remember that's just used for calling cows. <laughs> A bad seed, a that's that's what that is and she's somehow turning into something beautiful like, her voice is so beautiful i wonder if it's because it's just her talent and her voice because i get a feeling if you sing like me like you're saying <laughs> if you sing like me you calling it probably would not sound so pretty it, it's i'm it's, telling you they're not they run away <laughs> i i think so no they would stampede you know what they would be like they would be recreating the scene in the lion kings when the wind face <laughs> Kill Mustafa. They would be stampeding the way, killing everything oh, in their path. That's right. Oh. Opposite way. Oh God. Oh. That was beautiful, y'all. She, she is a Swedish treasure. There's no doubt in my mind. She's talented. She is beautiful. 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 All right. If you have other interesting cultural aspects that you want us to cover i would love to learn about it because this is really fascinating this is not mm -hmm. something i would have ever been exposed to right. not something i've ever even heard of before right and it's really really cool and it, trust me it doesn't have to all be beautiful it could be wacky it could be strange it could be funny just share it with that's us right. stuff because that's what we love we love learning about different cultures from around the world mm -hmm. so thank you all swedes and so the next time we go to Sweden, I want to try this myself. Oh, you up let in me, the north. You let me know how it is up in the north. I'm staying in the hotel <laughs> in the south. Because that looks cold as hell. Maybe. Let's just try. Life is short. Mm, life is going to be shorter if you freeze out there in that wilderness. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's comments time. So if you want to get featured in our videos, that means you got to leave a comment. And the first one I got to show is from Yona herself. She watches our videos. She says, oh my God, I am so happy and surprised to see this. Thank you so much for this. It was so beautiful to see your reaction. Lots of love to you guys. Heart, heart. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it, I love it. When the talent that we react to actually checks out our videos and writes back 
and says how much they love what we're doing. We love spreading the word, so it becomes such a you know symbiotic relationship between us and the people that watch our videos and the talent itself. So, Yona, thank you so much for your video. We are so inspired by what you've done that we now checked you out, giving a concert to cattle. That's how much we love your performances. All right, Eric says, only 12% of the population live in Norland, the North, but it takes up about 59% of the area. And most of those people live on the East Coast where there are no mountains like these. So it sounds like there's a huge swath of land in Sweden. Sweden has about one of the larger land masses out in Europe. It's just that their population in ratio to that is pretty small. And this northern part of Sweden has a very small population, which is the reason why Yona moved out there to get away from the masses, to live out in nature. But yeah, it's really interesting. I mean, if I were to think of a comparison, I would say middle America is probably pretty similar. Most of the people that live in the United States live on the coastal cities. But in the middle of America, there are some beautiful parts of the country where they have mountainous terrain, like the Grand Canyon, amazing plains out like in Kansas. Few people live out here in comparison to the vast size of the land, but it's a beautiful part of the country that if you're ever coming out to America, I highly recommend a trip to the middle part of America. It sounds like Northern Sweden is a lot like that. Just beautiful country out there. Kind of thing that you want to go see. We want to get away from the population and just be one with nature.